We're here with Tony Archer again to talk through refereeing decisions from round 20. And Tony, there's a few obstructions out of this round in particular. Let's run through a few of them. First, we've got the Raiders-Warriors uh, match. And David Fusatua here was uh, denied uh, points to the board there with a obstruction call. Do you think that was the right call there? Yeah, it was. Uh, you can see that there's contact made on uh, Aidan Caesar. Uh, it's significant contact. He's knocked to the ground. Uh, the Warriors play back through the space created by that uh, that constitutes an obstruction. That was a correct decision. Okay, moving on to the Sharks Knights match. Ben Barber was denied a try here because Michael Ennis was pulled up for an obstruction. Yeah, it's an unusual one, but you can see that uh, Michael Ennis comes out from dummy half, passes the ball. He's in front of the ball carrier. He continues to move forward and impedes Adams, the Knights defender, who's trying to come across and uh, tackle the ball carrier. At that point, that constitutes an obstruction and the bunker correctly overturned the uh, live decision and ruled no try. That's a penalty in Newcastle. Okay, and in the Dragons-Tigers match, Tane Milne, young rookie, he was also denied some points. Yeah, similar to the first one, there was a, a contact uh, on the defence. Um, the ball was also caught and uh, the player went through the space created by that contact. As a result, that's an obstruction and correctly ruled on field by the referees. All right, now let's look at the Titans-Eels match. Beretta Ferrimo, he looked to have scored a try here, but uh, the ref called that he'd actually lost the ball over the line. There was some knees involved as well. Can you talk us through that one? Yeah, um, referee started with a live decision of no try, ball lost. Uh, you can see that uh, in attempting to make the, uh, make the tackle, um, the Gold Coast player led with his hands in a tackling motion. Uh, there is some contact with the knees, but uh, hands down, making contact with the defender first. Ball lost. Correct decision to confirm that and uh, rule a 20 metre restart. OK, and there's been some questions raised as well, just around penalty counts um, across the round and in some of the matches. Have you had a chance to review this and what are your thoughts? Yeah, I certainly have. Uh, pretty much throughout the season, we've averaged about 14 penalties a game. Uh, some games are obviously provide uh, more penalties. Uh, I've been quite clear in the instructions to the referee. If players infringe, uh, the expectation is that they, uh, they are penalised for those infringements. Uh, I'm very comfortable with how the referees are handling uh, this aspect of the game and uh, if penalties are there to be given, I, I expect them to do that. Okay, well thanks for joining us, Tony. No problems.